Okay, chit chat first. Amos, Gram. We keep running into fools who forget what side they're on. See, this is why we need a new Imperial Senate. Someone who can keep these idiots in check. We have a war to win. Officers like Grom need direction, not a leash. Looking to the horizon is all very well, Saul. But remember to look at what's going on around you. With that Beradium at our disposal, we'll be at the forefront of the attack on the Nadiri dockyards. We got caught off guard at the Xavian Abyss. That can't happen again. In one move, Captain Carroll took us from a near shipwreck to a key military asset. She'll have a plan. Let's see what's next. No one else? No one else. Our victory is nearly at hand. We have the location of the Nadiri dockyards, and the Overseer is almost back to full strength. Our only obstacle now is Vanguard Squadron. I won't let them catch us off guard. Not again. Admiral Sloan has a plan to draw Vanguard Squadron and other defenders away from the Nadiri dockyards. The Admiral has ordered Titan Squadron to play a part, and she wants you to take the lead. For this mission, at least. I trust Admiral Sloan's decision. You've proven yourself capable many times over. Just... Don't let it go to your head. It oh, it already has. Out like Colonel Graham. Oh, we got some sunlight coming in. One second here. I'll stand up here so it's not as bad. One second. I gotta close a window. Too much natural light. Get it off me. Get it off me. Our beradium munitions give us the firepower to take on the Starhawk. But the situation isn't that simple. The Nadiri dockyards are protected by a massive rebel fleet. We cannot engage the Starhawk until it is vulnerable. Admiral Sloan's strategy is simple. Lure the Republic fleet away from Nadiri with simultaneous attacks on enemy targets across the galaxy. We've been assigned to attack Moncala. We don't have the numbers for a pitched battle, so you will have to strike fast. Your mission is to sow chaos through multiple attacks, moving quickly. These refueling pods are your first target. Next, attack civilian transports and any medical frigates supporting them. This will certainly draw out Anvil Squadron who are defending Moncala. Stay ahead of them if you can. Titan 3, you're ready for more responsibility. You will lead the assault. Make this fast and brutal. They've earned it. This lady has such a vendetta. And while Titan attacks Moncala, Two battle groups will launch strikes at Onderon and Gorth, disrupting Republic supply lines. Ah, at ease, pilot. Reports of your achievements have crossed my desk with unusual frequency. Those accolades have been well earned, Admiral. If Titan Squadron's a weapon, our newest pilot is its cutting edge. Just as I'd hoped. Then consider Moncala a test pilot. Great talent requires greater challenges. Agreed, Admiral Sloan. And I look forward to filing my next commendation report. I'm going to overlook your unapproved acquisition of Colonel Grom's beradium supply. Although I hope you both learned something from that encounter. Colonel Grom is efficient. After all, he did successfully defend his depot without using any of his own resources. But an Imperial officer must also show finesse. If they are to command effectively. We understand, Admiral. Completely. That will be all. Oh god. <laughs> Shen. Such a downer to talk to. Been a while. They shot me down once. Lost two vertebrae that time. Seeing anvil burn. Might ease some pain. Overseer's fixed. Good. Superstructure was groaning. Kept me awake. The implants, your metal stresses. Handy in combat. Other times. It's annoying. Hmm. 
been watching the mouse droids. They always seem scared. Wonder why. Time to go. Seeing you rise to the occasion, taking lead on this mission, it reminds me why I keep fighting. Despite my age, despite the fatigue, we're one step closer to the Starhawk. Ride this confidence, but don't let arrogance get the best of you. We're all expendable, but not every pilot is replaceable. When we lose a good leader or loyalist, you can't fill the void with just anyone. Good pilots inspire those above and below them. When you're in charge of a squadron someday, remember that. For now, let's focus on the mission. Okay, okay. For this mission, you're authorized Ooh. to fly a TIE fighter, Reaper, or Interceptor. Your choice. Reaper. Reaper. I like the name. Reaper. This is the big slow ship, right? Has a really cool cockpit. Look at all that gas. If this was a Marika, we would be invading. Moncala, one of the Republic's key shipyards. So quiet. Perfect target. Show no mercy, Titan. Sowing terror and outrage here means victory at Nadiri. Your first target is the refueling pods in orbit. Remember, enemy starfighters are patrolling this system. Move quickly and cut down any interference. Let's get started. Lead on, three. All that gas. Hit and split tactics, remember. Hit and split. Hey. Pickings. That's the one I wanted. And the squadron has been alerted. Enemy reinforcements will be there any minute. Understood. You do you, man. You do you. Imperial invaders. This is Anvil Squadron. Leave Moncala immediately or face the consequences. Anvil. Remember me. Should have finished the job. Protect the fuel. Hey, baby, remember me. Guys are good, man. Oh, it's high fighter. Keep fighting. I had it. Whoa. Where's the next anvil? Ship controls are down. Bro, where are you? Look at that drift. I got him, I got him. 
They dead. They dead. I'm still going. Ready for whatever's next. Run defense, Anvil. Let's do it. Bye. Might as well take it. Not bad, not bad. Titan 3, those transports are our next target. Looks like Anvil Squadron is already here. Titan Squadron, these ships are under our protection. Leave now or be destroyed. There's a third way, Anvil. You won't like it. Cut through those Anvil defenders and destroy the transports. Consider it done. Those transports are fleeing towards Moncala's planetary defenses. They only delay the inevitable. They're killing you. A messy distraction. Some necessary evils weigh heavier than others. Second thoughts. And an observation. Project Starhawk must be destroyed. But we shouldn't forget the price. Transport is down. He'll suffer for this, Titan. Try me. Enemy transport is destroyed. Anvil Squadron has called in reinforcements. Incoming now. You've made an impression, Titan. Finish off those transports, or push forward to the next target. It's your call, Three. Finish them! This is so precious. Let's press on when you're ready. Transports cuddled. These ships are no threat to you. Everything is a threat to me. Come on. No, he can't. They overheated. Supply, please. Basically, assholes. <laughs> Basically. Ooh, frigate. Our next target is that medical frigate. A medical frigate. Is it carrying patients? No. Back to Stims. But losing medical supplies in wartime is far more devastating. Rebel fighter has lost the 
All good? Scrambling. Oh, what the hell is that? Shields are down. Him. We can't leave. We can't just dip out on a job before it's done. What is this though? Simmy's on the other side. Let's talk. You'll be commended for this, you know. The hero who led the scouring of Moncala. That's a sort of accolade that gets people's attention. Makes them listen to what you have to say. 
If I were in your position, I'd be thinking about what that newfound prestige could be used for when the war's over. Just a suggestion. Let's find out what Captain Carol needs next. This lady's thinking of the long game. Our diversion was a success. The Vanguard Squadron has left the Nadiri dockyards to aid Mon Cala, leaving the Starhawk completely exposed. We now have a clear shot to finish our mission. Admiral Sloan has sent reinforcements to help secure our victory. But you, Titan Squadron, will lead the strike against the Starhawk. If New Republic patrols and perimeter defenses intercept you on approach, show them no mercy. Before we begin our Beradium assault, you must bring down the dockyard's shields. We've discovered shield generators at these locations. Destroy them all, and the Overseer's bombardment will begin. After the shield generators are down, Titan III will return to the Overseer to acquire Beradium-enhanced munitions. This is where we show our true strength. Immobilize the Starhawk with Beradium. Do not stop until its hyperdrive is destroyed. I want that ship helpless when I deliver the killing blow. Let's make Admiral Sloan proud. Before us is a historic victory, if we have the metal to seize it. The Beradium, the Overseer, even our TIE fighters are only tools. What decides a battle is our will to conquer. That's what the rebels have never understood. If we hold to that principle, we can crush the Starhawk and win the day. We've successfully drawn off the rebel forces protecting the Nadiri dockyards. Only a token defense remains. And the Starhawk. No doubt the rebels believe the Starhawk is all the protection they need. They have no idea what Alberadium is about to do to their defender. Get ready. It's time. It's time to kill. Creepo! So, on to Nadire. Captain Carroll's tenacity and your hard work have made this possible. Of course, mere numbers aren't enough to win a battle. But I'll give you the best moment-to-moment -moment analysis that I can. The Beradium will be at your disposal for the crucial moment I've seen to it. The rest is in your hands. Unfortunately, we cannot issue you Beradium munitions from the get-go. With the enemy shields up, there's a high probability that missiles will be lost in the crossfire. Or a pilot. Either would be quite devastating. Gray asked me about the Starhawk's tractor beam, but don't worry. That won't be a factor in this battle. With the Starhawk docked, its tractor beam would endanger the dockyards and everyone stationed there. The rebels' squeamishness gives us the advantage. Good luck. Not a factor I can predict, sadly. I don't know. The captain used to be Empire. He may not be squeamish, man. He may just fire that thing. Who knows? Ooh, multiple chats. You know this attack is about more than the Starhawk, Vanguard, or even the Dockyards. It represents a strike at everything this new Republic represents. What they think they gained at Endor. New Republic. Even the name's a joke. The Republic has never been anything but 10,000 squabbling voices. Though after this, they'll be screaming in unison. Let's show the New Republic for the sham it really is. It's clear the captain trusts you. Leading the Beradium strike against the Starhawk is a big responsibility. You've more than proved you're capable. Agreed. The path has been long, but I'm proud to fly with both of you. What's next? After the war? I've been at this a long, long time. I'll retire. Maybe somewhere quiet, near the water. My husband would be happy anywhere without Durasteel walls at this point. What about you, Shen? This is what I do. 
are needed here. War or not. Fair enough. Time to go. He's a lifer. Consider outfitting your bomber to handle New Republic fighters as well as their capital ships. Your loadout is looking good. It'll be even better once we're cleared to give you Beradium explosives. Kuro Yamato! Strike freedom. Ikimas. So chill at first. Then that's a to Imperial forces, you are trespassing in New Republic space. Leave immediately. This is Captain Carroll of the Overseer. Your star hawk dies today, as will you. Titan Squadron, attack with pleasure. All turrets, open fire on those ships. Your meager defenses cannot stop us. Titan, eliminate all turrets. Let's give the Overseer a clear path to the Starhawk. Out of range. Out of range. How are you... How are you guys hitting this thing? What the hell? Still out of range. Oh. I love this part. Of, uh, ship with better range, man. Destroyed. Titan, enemy fighters headed your way. Did you think we wouldn't put up a fight? How you spend your final moments is of no concern to me. Titan, engage. Not worrying about the turrets? Is that it? I see you. Oh shit. Bounce. Bounce off that asteroid. Triton, we're launching beradium missiles from the overseer now. Get him. He's dead. Missed the missile launcher. Turrets destroyed. Regroup and prepare for the assault. It's time. You're welcome. Viridium has made contact with the dockyard shields. This won't take long. Titan, we need to fly past that Starhawk to hit their generators. It won't be a problem. All units report in. You're wasting your breath. They're dead. James told me about you, Teresa. Violence follows wherever you go. Fostar hit.
Raven, Hosni and Prime, De Several, Moncala. History will remember what side you chose. History has no sides, only survivors. Damn, that's deep. Only as long as we let them. Titan, destroy the dockyard's shield generators. Understood. 